a very happy one to my dear children. So here we are with class 6 subject science and other chapter getting to know plants. And our today's topic is shoot system. In the last class we studied about root system. Today we are going to study about shoot system. So come on children, let's begin our class. Shoot system. It is the main part of the plant that grows above the soil that we, which we can see. It consists of stem. It consists of stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. And a leaves are going to be Leaves, stem, flowers, fruits, buds. Right? So now children we are going to study the main parts of stem. The stem of the tree is known as trunk. The stem of the tree is common to the trunk. Most of the trunks are covered with a very hard, hard outer layer that is known as bark. And bark is very tough, hai, bahut tough hai. and what is the function of bark? The function of bark is to protect the inner part of the tree. Now, the small outgrowths, small outgrowths on the stem of a plant are called buds. Outgrowths are small, small tissues or small, small outgrowth structures in the stem. They are called outgrowths. Birds are of two types. The first one is the apical bird and the second one is the axillary bird. Now, Apical bird is present on the top of the shoe. On the top of the shoe. See, this is my plant and this is the apical bird. So, what is present here? It is the top for present. Then, terminal bird is present at the top of the bird. It is responsible for the upward growth of the plant. Apical bird is is it responsible for the upward growth of the plant? The plant is very big and big. Aggregatory birds are found between the stem and the leaf stalk. Where is the aggregatory bird found? It is found between the stem. Stem and the leaf stalk. So, see. Aggregatory bird. I will magnify this and show you. Axillary bird. वो यहाँ पर present है. इसके बीच में present है वो. यहाँ पर अगर leaf है. And suppose that this is the stem and this is the leaf. Okay? Then where is the axillary bird? Here it is. यहाँ पर. Leaf and stem के बीच में present होता है axillary bird. Axillary bird. Apical bird present होता है on the top. And it is responsible for upward growth of plant. Apical bird, upward growth of plant. And axillary bird gives rise to many new branches of the plant. Axillary bird se kya rise ho te hai? New branches rise ho te The part of the stem where a leaf arises is called lobe. Proper sunlight, proper bearing, good bark, photos, 
synthesis. Very, very important. Photosynthesis is that is why the plants are able to prepare their own food and that is why they are alive. Second, to help in conduction. The cell helps in conduction of water and minerals absorbed by the roots of the plants. Roots absorbs water and minerals, but the transportation or conduction happens by step. It also conducts prepared food from the leaves to various parts of the plants such as roots, stems and fruits. Do you agree that the stem is like a two-way street? Do you agree that, that the stem is a two-way street? Two-way street can be Suppose if this is a street, two-way street means go no jago, we can go. Hain? Hum aise bhi ya sakte hai aur hum aise bhi ya sakte hai. So, do you think that in step two-way, two-way transportation of minerals about roots in step and from, sorry, from roots to leaves and from leaves to roots, do you agree children? Okay, think over it. And we will discuss this portion in our online classes. Now we are going to study some additional functions of stem. And for this, the stem modifies itself. The first one is storage of food. Yes children, stem kya kardi hai? Kabhi kabar apne andar extra food store karke rakhi. For example, Plants like ginger, onion, potato, jaza, underground. They become thick and fleshy. Why fleshy? Because they are storage food in it. In, in them. Ginger is a underground stem. Okay, children. Potato is a underground stem. Onion is a underground stem. So don't get confused. Onion, roots, these are the roots and storage, these are the green leaves, okay? And this is the stem. So what do you do? They store food in them. See ginger. Now, second is food manufacture. Yes, certain stems also manufacture food. But they come to some land. This work is of leaves. But stems also store food. Plants like cattle grow in desert or in very dry places. In such plants, the stem is modified into a thick, fleshy and green structure. As you can see here, see it is a very green and fleshy structure. These stems manufacture food by photosynthesis and they also conserve water. Because they are growing in desert region, Mahaka Vesali is scarcity of water. So to conserve water, they then comes the third one. That is defense. Defense means they protect themselves. In some plants like bombilla and citrus, the birds in the stem are modified into hard, pointed and short structures. See, this is bombing pillar plant and here there are some thorns. So, they should be thorns of them. Why so? These structures prevent animals from eating the plant. They are animals to protect them. Why? To protect themselves. So, today we studied about shoot system, we studied functions of stems, we studied different parts of stems and we also studied modification of stem. Okay children? So now let's see your homework. So children, your homework for today is you will answer these two questions. What is the function of a stem in a potato plant? And what is the difference between node and integral? And then this one. Give two examples of modified root and Thank you. 